Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Lawrence from Nerfless TV. Today we're having a look at this. This is the HyperDrive 6-in-1 Hub for iPad Pro. This is the version 2 that does 4K 60Hz from the HDMI port. Now I purchased this a while ago and uh, I have been waiting a very, very long time for it to come from the States to the EU. But uh, yeah, I suppose these days it's uh, to be expected. The reason that I got this is simply because it's a nice compact dock that you can just clip onto the side, as you can see here, onto the side of the iPad Pro, and it contains everything that you need. So it's got a power input, and it's got 4K 60 hertz, which is the selling feature of the version 2. Power throughput, I said that's SD card, micro SD card, like the only UHS one, which is a bit of a problem, a bit of a pity, but still they're there. You've also got a five a gigabytes a second USB A, and of course a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which is always good, especially if you're doing things like uh, video editing and that type of thing on Lumen Fusion on the on the iPad, which is always good to have some audio. With the design of this, it's obviously made for you know, Apple's cases like the keyboard cases, whereas it can fit on the side and it doesn't really interfere with most cases that come from Apple. I was a little bit worried about that with uh, specifically my case because I have a non-Apple case and uh, I quite like it and I'd like to keep it if possible. So you see, when you clip it on at the top here, it actually has to clip the back part because it has this nice little front lip that fits nicely over the front of obviously your iPad and a back clip that basically makes it so that it doesn't wiggle around which you have to have on it. Of course with this the back plate is quite tight so you physically need to sort of almost wedge it in to get it to work properly like that. So you can see it's actually pushing the bit of back plate out of it. It doesn't really bother me like that. Um, it's a bit annoying that I have to push it out like that, but it does feel quite a bit more secure now that um, I have that sort of pressurizing it and holding it in place. But as you can see, it's got a USB-C power pass through, and then it's the SD card and the micro SD card, and of course your USB-A and your audio jack. Of course, if you're using the new Apple keyboard, then you probably won't need the power to come through here, you can just use the power on the, um, the smart connector that comes from the new Apple keyboard. That's if you want to drop in Europe 400 euros for the keyboard for the 12.9, which I don't, but I might do anyway. Now, apart from the hyperdrive, which comes fitted with this bracket for your iPad Pro, you also have in the box, so it comes with some spare screws because each of these brackets actually use these two of these little screws to screw onto the, the dock itself. Um, so good thinking on providing some extras. And then underneath that, you actually have this. It's a, an extension. So if you want to plug it into your MacBook or a Windows PC or whatever the case is for using it as a dock for that device, you don't need to obviously try and snuggle it up to the side of your device. You can just put this in and as you can see it comes with those two screws here and here and you can just remove this one from there as well. And it also has a screwdriver, obviously the correct size, they obviously don't want you to trash their little screws and a second one of these brackets just in case you mess up or lose that one which is also quite good. So this device, I mean, you can even use this for an iPad. If you don't like it sitting on the side of your iPad, then you can just use this and have it at least hanging free from your iPad. The choice is yours. But it's nice to have this in case you want to use it for some other device besides the iPad Pro. I, however, don't. So I'm going to leave this in the box and hopefully I don't lose it. So in actual usage, it's been pretty well. Um, obviously, I prefer the speeds of the SD cards in the 12 South dock, which is what I've been using up until now. But for on the go, it's nice to have that here. And it's also nice to have it in the office and you can just click it in and you've got uh, your full setup all ready to go, including your second screen, which hopefully in the new iOS, they'll actually start uh, using more because at the moment there's things like LumaFusion and a few of the iPad, um, the Apple exclusive apps 
that make good use of the X, the out port, um, you know, unless you want to stream, for some reason, stream content from your iPad to a TV or something like that, then, you know, obviously that'll work now. But I'm pretty sure and I hope that a lot more functionality comes to this HDMI port, in which case it'll make this a lot more useful, obviously having 4K60 out of a HDMI port. Apart from that, it's a good quality and I don't think it's going to just fall apart overnight. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please, if you did, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and all those lovely things for YouTube to let you know. And I will catch you on the next one. Keep safe. Bye-bye. A five gigabyte. Phew, English, it's a word. Uh, focus.